Welcome to Dublin, Ireland's capital, with its thousand year history of Vikings and rebellions, a city with intimate village feeling, friendly pubs, cobbled streets, with art and history buildings framed by mountains, sat on the river and rounded off by a beautiful bay. But I'm not here for any of that, well, not completely. I'm here to see what flags this metropolis has to offer. This is Flags in 50 Places. I'm standing on one of the most prolific bridges in Dublin. This is the O'Connell Bridge. And while houses a number of flags, if we follow the road north, we get to another iconic building. Before we go to that iconic building, let's stick with the bridge which houses the four provincial flags of Ireland in each corner. These are Ulster, which is based on the coat of arms and dates back to 1264 when Walter de Burr, first Earl of Ulster, became the Earldom of Ulster and mixed his family's heldry, a yellow flag with a red cross, with the red hand of Ulster. It is said that King Richard the Lionheart of England marked a de Burr golden coloured shield with a cross marked with blood during a battle. The Munster flag is made up of three crowns which may be representative of the medieval Hiverno-Norman lordship in Munster of which there were three, the O'Briens, the Butlers and the Fitzgeralds. Linster, the more infamous golden Irish harp with silver strings, is similar to the Arms of Ireland which is the same flag but with a blue background, but we'll come back to that. And the Connacht flag, the demediated eagle and armed hand, possibly hark back to the arms of the medieval Schottenkloster Gaelic Monastery in Regensburg, Germany, which dates back to the 14th century. This is the General Post Office building. It was here during the Easter Rising of 1916 where the Irish Republic flag was hoisted alongside the Irish tricolour. After surviving a week of bombardment and fire, it was eventually taken down by troops after the surrendering of the insurgents. That flag ended up in the Imperial War Museum in London. It was eventually presented to the Irish government by the British on the 50th anniversary of the Rising in 1966 and is now in the Museum of Ireland Decorative Arts and History. This is the Vexillologist's Dream Irish pub. It's the badass in Temple Bar adorned with multinational flags. I wonder if they show the football here. The flag of Dublin City was adopted in 1885 by the Dublin Corporation, the former name of the city government and administration. Their coat of arms from 1607 includes three burning castles which are represented here in the canton. However, there is mention of an earlier coat of arms which had one castle with three watchtowers that dates back to 1230. This is now the de facto Dublin City Council flag. The gold harp represents the whole of the island and green and blue are the two national colours. Ireland's national flag dates back to March 1848. The green represents the Roman Catholics, the orange for the Protestants, and the white is the peace between these two. It wasn't until around 1917 that this flag gained widespread popularity and was finally recognised in Constitution on the 29th of December 1937. There is evidence that the early versions of this flag had the colours the other way round, orange, white, green, the same as the current Ivory Coast or Côte d'Ivoire. But that's another episode. One of the most common flags being flown across Dublin is the Pride flag. The city centre has them flying on many streets, but this is because while Ireland has such a small population in European standards, its LGBTQI plus community is ever growing and being accepted more and more. And it's not just a city thing. Rural Ireland celebrates pride events throughout the countryside right across the year. While Ireland's flags are all steeped in revolutionary history, Dublin, one of Europe's most western capitals, shows by the flags it flies is a place of variety and acceptance to all. It's a city demonstrating that while it shows its past in design and colour, it is also moving forward by welcoming its global neighbours. This has been Ireland's Flags in 50 Places from Dublin.